DSD Hacking 101. Welcome to PSP Hacking 101, Episode 4. Title unnamed at the moment. It's not unnamed, it's Attack of the New Host. You mean a provider. new host? Yeah. We don't have a new host. It's a new host. You know, like, like that other thing that we're making fun of? Yeah, you know, but we host. don't have a new host! You know, they didn't have a name for that when they first came out with it. It was just Star Wars, wasn't it? It was a new host. Was it always a new hope? Yes, it was always a new hope. In 1970-whatever. The poster says it, even. Uh, no, that's just the one that came out in the 90s that says that. Uh, well, we can fight this <laughs> later. Tell us what we're doing, Fox. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to show you how to convert your DVDs, like Star Wars or whatever you want, to play back on your PSP. Uh, we're also going to show you how to use an internet, an internet connection through your cell phone to get your PSP online. We're also going to be showing you how to hide those pesky little corrupted icons that appear whenever you move your apps and emulators over to your PSP. Uh, this program can also let you sort your program so you can choose where what appears. Or what where appears. Or something like that. Yeah. What where? <laughs> Shut up. All right. Let's go. <laughs> On with the show. On with the show. Uh, first off, Pox is going to show us how to convert a DVD... Uh, to a format to play on your PSP. So, the first thing that you're going to need is the DVD decryptor software, or any DVD ripping software for that matter, your DVD, your PSP, and the PSP Video 9 software. That does the encoding after you rip it. Insert your DVD, you, you just select rip here, just like on the screen, and let that puppy go, wait a few hours, and then you're going to load that same file up into the PSP Video 9. And you can go over here and you can select all kinds of quality settings. There's even this bitrate calculator over here to show you how long uh, your video clip will be and what amount of compression you'll have on it in order to make it fit on your memory stick. So just select the one that you want, hit convert, and then move it over to your PSP and you're set to go. Yeah, as far as quality settings go and the different options you have, you have in your DVD ripper software, we're not here to teach you about that. Just re research the program online and what these settings mean. Uh, if you have any questions, Pox may answer them if he's feeling kind yeah, and leave, benevolent. Yeah, leave them on the forums. <laughs> the forums you never post on. <laughs> All right. Pox is now going to show you how to use an internet connection through your cell phone to get your PSP online. Uh, following is him getting ATV Fury off-road, up and running. Did, were you actually able to play uh, pretty decently? Yeah, actually, uh, you know what I found out is you had to have the cell phone at least one or two <laughs> feet away from the PSP because they both run on two the same Frequency. similar frequencies and they'll mess uh, each other up. So that's good to know. Just in general, if, keep you're that in mind. if you're talking on your cell phone, keep it away from your uh, PSP or else you'll get random disconnects. Oh, what about latency? What uh, was that la like? Latency on cell phone signal is pretty doggone high. How did that affect your gameplay? Oh, the days? gameplay was actually fine, surprisingly. Uh, very few skips every once in a while. You see somebody jump a little bit, but it was surprisingly good. Cool. Uh, you know, it's, it's comparable to build a dial-up is what it is, unfortunately. But it works. Oh. I wouldn't do any first-person shooters on this. Okay, so the first thing you got to do is you got to have a method of converting your cell phone's internet signal to your PSP through a Wi-Fi device. And today we're going to be using the computer that I set up in my car. And the computer in the car, it has both a USB port so I can plug in my cell phone and get the connection onto the computer. It's got a Wi-Fi card so that it'll share the internet connection. And I'll, I'll show you right here. You just set up the internet connection sharing and bam. I gave the SSID of car, and it's on ad hoc mode on the PC, but on the PSP side, you set it to infrastructure mode, and you manually have to type in the SSID, in this case it's car, and then you are set to go. Connect on the computer, and bam, you can play online. Bam! Spice it up a notch. Yeah, and here's me getting my ass kicked, because I'm trying to play this while... Holding Family a camera in my lap? Yeah, so it's not so easy to... Oh, it's in your lap. Ouch. Yeah. It, it wasn't 
working out too well. And I, I think I got banned from a lot of games when trying to get this work in the f first place because... Online people are pretty testy sometimes. Yeah, and when you're trying to play over a cell phone connection out where we live and... BFE. It's not helping out too much. But if you're in, like, a major metropolitan area, traffic LA, jam... New York, Chicago... You know, preferably the passenger. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. That's it. Have fun. Be careful. And don't dr uh, game and drive at the same time. <laughs> Wise words from Pox. All right, those pesky corrupted icons that you get every other time you load an emulator or an application on your PSP, and they just fill up your menu, and they bug the crap out of you. You just got to get rid of them. Uh, the program you're going to want to download is called P Psycho Portable. Uh, the current version I believe that I was using was point .2. Uh, all right, uh, with this program, there are two options here to arrange your icons or to hide your corrupt icons. The first one we're going to cover is the hiding your corrupted icons. Uh, which, when you click on that icon, it's going to pull up a window with two different windows or two different lists on the side. You just need to select your PSP drive and then it'll populate that list with all of the folders listed, and with, listed within the games folder. You just have to highlight the ones that you want to rename so that they don't appear corrupted and click on hide corrupt icons. Uh, the renaming method that it uses is a bit different than other previous methods. It will actually take the first four letters of the, of the folder name and just take that and then put a one tilde one percentage. So it's a bit different than, than buffering with you know, 32 spaces or characters ending with a one. And I mean, as far as I know, it's compatible with most, most, with most programs. Worked with squares. Did, did you run it on all your applications on your PSP? No, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All of them, all of them run. All of them run. There, are, there's other programs too. There, I can't remember the name of the one I was using, but it, it, it required that you had the minimum namespace, and but after that, it worked all right. If you don't prefer this method, then you can just simply do it the manual way of renaming. All right, the other thing you can do with this program is arrange your icons to appear in whatever order you want. Just click on the arrange icons from the main window and then select the drive of your PSP. One list that it'll populate and then you just highlight and you can move up, you can move down and then after that click on arrange. What it's actually physically doing is moving and copying in the proper order to get that list to appear like that. So if it appears to not be responding, be patient. It just Basically, takes some time. The way the file system works is it just arranges the latest created file to be at the top. So what it's doing is, is manually resaving everything yes. so that it appears the way it should. And depending on how many actual folders you have, it, that depends. I mean, that's how long it'll take. Uh, for when, I, when I did this the first time, it just sat there for a good minute or so, and I was freaking out. Yeah, you can send this my room. But it's, it's all good. It was, it's <laughs> all good. Just be patient. So, do you have any news, Pox? Yeah, I got a little bit of news. I've been speaking with the author of this new PSP shell, uh, Discordia. 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 As far as I know. But Anyways. everybody gives us slack about Lumon, so we may not be saying it right. Yeah, Lumines. That might not even be right. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. Go on. Anyways, um, he's going to be giving us a preview of it. Uh, here are a few um, screenshots that he gave me the other night. Enjoy. Yeah, it looks pretty sweet. We look forward to the shell coming out. Yes. It's a lot, it looks a lot more graphically aesthetic the than the th other th The neat thing is you're going to be able to launch directly your um, games without having to yeah. run them and make multiple folders and all that crap. And and you're also going to be able to play audio files, and he's working on doing video, too. And It's a really neat shell. Can you play the UMD from it, as far as you know? Mm, I don't know. I don't, I don't think that's in the... Going to be in the first release. That'd be cool to implement that. I don't know what his plans are. Nonetheless, we have high hopes for this release. Yes. Cool guy. Yes, very, very cool guy. Oh, me. Now, I have news. Yes. <laughs> uh, Pox is not the only one with grand news. Um, I've just been keeping up to track on current things happening in the hacking scene. Uh, first off is uh, the WAB member Yoshi something, something, something. I'll just refer to him as Yoshi. Uh, uh, gave us a 2.0 hack where he would he changed the hex 
value um, in the SFO file where it would launch, it would actually appear as a launchable program from a 2.0 firmware PSP and launch it, but it would freeze at the white screen. So it's a first step forward to actually launching something and getting somewhere. But it's the first step. So we still have a long ways to go. Secondly, uh, the same guy, same team, has announced that he has found a downgrade method for 1.51 and 1.52 down to 1.5. Zero. So like that Pox guy said, you shouldn't have upgraded to 2.0 even if you got a 1.51 or 2. Which is why we mentioned, <laughs> do your research first. Make your own decisions. Pox is right. Shut up. <laughs> Anyways, uh, he said his news would release, he would release the program on Wednesday, which also happens to be the European launch for the PSP. Congrats, guys. Enjoy. And this is probably the day that you're downloading this show. How about that? What a great day. What a great and, day uh, for PSP everywhere. And, and those of you fine people that help the cause uh, probably be receiving your DVDs about this time, too. Thank you, people. Thank you very much. Thank you for donating. I hope you enjoy the DVDs. Uh, and, and now we have a, a new segment for our show. We're going to be answering some of the most popular threads on our forums. How about responding? We're going to be responding to some of the threats on our, th on our forums. Threats? Shit. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. What are they? <laughs> you tell me, Pox. You're the one with the segment. I don't know. I think, I'm, I think on the last post, I was the coolest so far. I'll pull it up again. Let's see. Let's see what the current vote is. God, right we're now. on a cell phone in a different location Hey, we now. can wait. We can wait for these very valuable <laughs> results to come in. These valuable votes. Drum roll, please. Wait, I haven't voted for myself either, like you have. It doesn't matter. That's your fault you didn't vote. You're no, lazy. no, seven to six. <laughs> He's ahead by one vote. I win. No, 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 no. I said clearly. If you scroll down on the forum post. Scroll down. Hey, by Wednesday, this might be changed. That's true. By the time it actually airs, people will rush and vote. Oh, I got to check and see if we got any donations to punch you. <laughs> <laughs> what about my donations to bitch slap you? Well, we'll see if there's any, any donations to be pitched lap. Okay, so, what's left? Let's finish this puppy out. Let's, let's close it up. Let's close it up. Um, first off, let's just reiterate what we've covered. The DVD conversion to your, PC, to your PSP. Playing online through a cell phone on your PSP. Uh, P Sicko Portable for arranging and hiding your corrupted icons. Uh, some of the new developments in possibly running Homebrew on 2.0. And I think some ass kicking too. I'm Pox. I'm Raggable. And we're out. And this has been PSP Hacking 101, episode PSP 4. PSP Hacking 101. This is a long segment. It's not for this to be Yeah. I'll do some all weather shoulder yeah. punches and slaps up against the green screen. Yeah. Put them all dramatic. What sort of background should we use, though? Well, I mean, what specific? The green screen. <laughs> What eventually will be behind us? Yeah, Fight Club. We'll put us in Fight Club. Club. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I want you to hit me as hard right, as, as you can. can. I'll say that and then you do it. Well, right. not really, no. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I didn't. Even... <laughs> How was that? Oh, that wasn't close. Okay, that's good enough.